Welcome to chapter two of my Sevtech Prospector build. Um, quick update for everyone. Um, starting at the front of the craft then, I've managed to uh, make my um, windscreen wiper mounts. Uh, they're installed. The windscreen wiper gearbox and motor is also installed underneath the bonnet and it's working a treat. Uh, nav lights as required by coal regs have been installed left and right, port and starboard. Uh, and I've also um, played around with a, win a rear view mirror. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to keep it, but it's, uh, it's there anyway, just to have a look at it. Um, the windscreen mount is still coming on. Still needs a little bit more work to do, um, but we're getting there. Um, down the side of the craft now, I've actually started doing the electrical installation. Um, the, these are my panels for the dashboard, uh, instruments and gauges, um, controls starting and all the rest of it. Uh, VHF radio, an ICOM MC411. Very good. Um, I've got two battery boxes, not sure which one I'm going to use yet, depending on which one's the best fit. Uh, and we'll, we'll just see where I'm going to fit it. I've not actually decided where it was going to go. I was going to put it in the engine bay, however, having just done a uh, essential navigation and sea safety course, um, I might relocate to inside the actual cabin area, um, so that if I do start sinking, uh, I'm going to power till the last possible minute for the radio. Um, cables are here now. Um, these are the main cables that are going to be running power um, fore and aft, um, rated to the correct current. Um, amber beacon as required by Colregs for a hovercraft in non-displacement mode, uh, flashing at 120 flash per minute, and a white 360 light um, as required by Colregs. Um, coming on to the back then, the uh, fan shrouds have been manufactured now and they're in place. Uh, the buoyancy cells have been closed. Um, and the actual access covers fitted. Um, this engine and fan guard mounting frame has been glassed. I'm just waiting for it to cure a little bit more before I trim the edges and file it flush. Um, this side's finished, looking quite nice. It's basically a, a wooden edge uh, reinforced with glass fibre. Um, the fan guard bolts to the outside and the engine mounts uh, bolt to the inside. Well, that's about it for now. Um, pr progress is it's coming on, um, the hull is pretty much almost there now, what I need to do next will be to uh, roll it onto its side um, so I can actually tape the seams underneath the craft and also reinforce the floor area um, and then as soon as I get my um, fan hubs back from the engineering company downtown I'm going to start the installation at the back end. So thanks very much for watching, I'll see you soon.